Hi, y'all. So for this portion of the lesson, we're going to work on some vocabulary together. Because I think if you're working on technique, jazz violin technique, it's great to work in the context of actual phrases and lines that you could play during a solo. So I'll show you some phrases, some licks, one by one. And after I've shown all the licks, we can start building a solo using those exact same phrases. So I'll be going through several keys and I'll play licks in the keys that are very useful to play or very easy to play on, vi on violin with the fingerings and it's just very convenient. But keep in mind that most of the time you can transpose uh, many of the licks in other keys. All of these licks, especially the longer ones, can be broken up in smaller parts, turned on, on their heads and you can be very free with those licks. Sometimes I'll be even repeating a lick uh, in, an, in another key with slight variations. Of course, all these licks will be transcribed with my exact bowings, but please uh, remember that during a, an actual performance, I might change these bowings depending on the situation or the context that I'm playing the licks in. But nevertheless, these bowings are good to start with. This is an easy corpelli lick in G. One, two. One, two, three. Let's do another Grappelli lick in G and I will show a bunch more also. One, two, one, two, three. One, two, one, two, three. All these licks end on the 6, which is something that I'm really fond of, and it's also something that Grappelli did a lot, ending on the, on the 6 of a major chord. So in this case, the E natural. One, two, one, two, three. One, two, one, two, three, four. The next lick is a great kind of a shouty lick, which I use during the climax of a solo. One, two, one, two, three, four. One, two, one, two, three, four. One, two, one, two, three. The following lick is great for G, but it also works on E7 and E minor. One, two, one, two, three, four. This next one is a signature Corpelli lick, which is very high on the violin, but it uses a nice trick. It uses a harmonic to shift back to the third position. One, two. One, two, three, four. One, two, one, two, three. The next uh, bunch of licks will be major seven licks. Until now, these were all kind of bluesy licks or good for G6, but th these next licks will make use of a G major seven arpeggio. But of course, these licks also work on a G chord or a G6 chord. All these licks are interchangeable, but we just change kind of the mood of the lick. One, two, one, two, three. One, two, one, two, three. One, two, one, two, three. You can also do this one an octave higher. One, two, one, two, three. This next lick is based on a G triad, and I'm just playing the chord tones with embellishments. It's something they call enclosures. One, two, one, two, three, four. <laughs> One, two, one, two.
One, two, one, two, three. One, two, one, two, three.